buy an 18 year old Mustang Cobra over the new muscle car stuff like the Camaro S550 new Mustang you know I don't know but well I'm kidding I do know the answer but I only know my answer so today we're gonna find out from Terminator Cobras what is the reason that they you know logically that they bought their car if you want to know why I bought my car we better go to a different location so let's do it I bought this car because this is my all-time dream car I've been obsessed about this car ever since I was a teenager this car to me it represented freedom power uh, it represented the ease of make power and I'll go more into more detail as I pop the hood of this car and I'll show you guys underneath this engine assuming that you guys are new to the channel so when I said the simplicity of ease making power for those that are new to the channel this car makes 533 wheel wheel horsepower with just minimal minimal mods <laughs> This is the factory blower, but it's just being ported. Still running 93 octane, bigger math, bigger injectors, bigger fuel pump, stock headers, just an upper pulley, and it make 533 wheel wheel horsepower. So to put that in perspective, cars from this era, <laughs> to make 400 to the wheels, it was a big deal. This car with minor ball tones, was putting over 500 to the wheels. And that's just with a portable blower, but if you don't have a portable blower with just a pulley, you're putting 460, 480 to the wheel. You know, I always loved the new West Mustang. You know, that was my very first real Mustang where, you know, I went racing and I did all my, my things. I was obsessed with this view, with this um, T56 with these gauges, the way they light up at night, with that boost gauge, with the sound of the four valve. With the sound of the Eaton supercharger or, you know, a candy bell, or any type of blower. I was just so intoxicated by this whole experience you know behind the wheel of this car and I just envision myself just being behind the wheel of this car uh, just love love the simplicity of this interior I know a lot of people give it crap but just the layout is just so clean and, and so simple and I think that we get lost in the belts and whistles you know the modern cars and 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 all that stuff which is great you know you got apple carplay you have all these safety features but they just take away from so much of the simplicity of just getting behind the wheel you know of a v8 uh, just pure torque monster and, and just enjoy the the just want to drive and this car that's what it is it's going back to the basics of just driving you want to turn off traction control just a simple buttons right there and you pretty much turn off traction control the way that this four valve engine old school makes I mean it sounds it sounds like nothing nothing uh, like the modern uh, V8s uh, you know a GT350 sounds amazing but they don't sound like this car just the sound of this car and you give a little bit of gas and you can see the the boost spot nice day Cobra's looking good 
Yeah, man, I, I bought it just because it it's just been my dream car since I was like 15 years old, and finally I just saved up enough pennies to make the dream come true. Very nice. How many miles does it have? Uh, I bought it with 32,000. It currently has a little over 33,000. And what's done to it? Um, so it has a it has a smaller pulley, uh, JLT, Ram, air intake, MGW short shifter. Um, I have Borla Stingers with the uh, Mac H pipe and uh, uh, tune, and pretty much it. Other than that, the, the blower stock. Yeah, so, factory port. Yep, factory factory blower. Gonna gonna put something bigger on there. Just haven't figured out what yeah. yet. But is it everything you dream about the Terminator? Is oh. It deliver? Every er, everything and more. I mean, everybody makes the jokes about the interior being cheap and this, right, that, and right, the other right. thing. But, but I mean, this this car is just so iconic, and it is right. You know, I just does it make you feel special when you're driving it? Every single time I I get in this car and start it up. Have you have you had a Mustang GT before this one? Yeah, yeah. Had... So I, I originally I had a my first Mustang was a was a '94 Cobra. Okay. And I sold that before I before I got this. And did it drove different than this one? Oh, oh, hundred percent. I mean, even the, even though they're, uh, I wouldn't necessarily call them quick like right. like these right. are, right. you know. But uh, you know, and then I also had a '95 uh, the Pushrod 302, and uh, love that car. I actually got hit by a semi truck driver in that oh, one, sure. and and so that car got totaled. And then after that, I was just like, all right, you know, I'm condensing all the vehicles I have, and I'm just gonna save, save some pennies and yep. and and buy the way, buy the dream way. one. Yep. Yeah. So here yeah. she is, and uh, there will be more to come with it. All right, George. So you want to tell me about your car? What made you buy the the dream car? Let's see, I started with the '96 Cobra. You still have that one? I still have it. First car. Um, and I saw these, I was like, damn, those are supercharged. I got this, it's all motor, I loved it, but I had to get this one day, and it took me about 10 years, and now I finally got it. So, yeah, it's it been deliver? my dream car. Yeah, it delivers. Okay. It's quick. Well, obviously, you got a candy bell, so it's gonna deliver. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's an old candy bell, but right. it works. It screams. Yeah, it screams, it's still good. <laughs> Oh yeah, I brought oh, you this. The, oh, you got the plug? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Here, guys. Is the one that going to Caletti? Yeah. Perfect. This oh, one. is that the one this, you were telling everybody about? Yeah. That's right. This yeah, is the yeah. one that's going to Coletti, right? Is yeah, it? this one's going to Coletti. This is on SVT Performance. It's so like a bunch of people. It's been going on for a minute. So you just yeah, sign it. Yeah, it's been going on for years, right? You yeah, sign it, and then you like you send it to the next yeah, guy. Yeah, you send it to the next person who's on the list. So oh, I told him I was going to come here, let, let you guys sign it. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. And then um, send it off right. to the next guy. Yeah. But yeah, they got damaged last year. Shipment, it's just kind of fragile, so. Yeah, I got a pen. Yeah, whenever you guys are ready. Oh, that's Appreciate cool. it, that's so cool. 